And new tonight at 530, a little dog in Bargersville on the south side is now on the mend after being attacked and bitten by a much larger dog while out on a neighborhood walk. The owner of the dog that was attacked was told not much could be done against the other dog. But our Rich and I found that town ordinances are in place and certainly appear to have been violated. 11 pound Georgie is not looking for a fight, backing away from the camera. Georgie was not expecting a fight last week either when his owner Luke Podolsky took him out for a walk. Luke takes Georgie for a walk in their neighborhood every day. They were on a walk June 1st when all of a sudden a much larger dog, a dog Luke had never seen before, attacked Georgie. Luke says the Siberian Husky mix latched onto the back of Georgie's neck. Luke suffered bites and scratches on his hands, trying to pull the dog's jaw off Georgie. It was just fear. I, I thought I was just going to lose my best friend, you know? I thought there was nothing I could do. I was like, it's, it's, it's over. What, what am I going to do? Two neighbors driving by stopped and pulled the dog off Georgie. She needed surgery and stitches to close the wound with about $600 in vet bills. The Podolsky family says the Johnson County Animal Control Officer put the other dog on quarantine at home for 10 days, but said nothing else could be done. As bad as it sounds, we wanted to get the dog put down because we didn't want this, like we knew it was dangerous and we didn't want this to happen to a child or, or another dog. We, we, we knew this dog wasn't, wasn't safe. 13 News learned that Bargersville does have an ordinance that if the dog is deemed vicious, the fine can be $500 on a first bite. Bargersville also has an ordinance that animals must be restrained. Bargersville police were not aware of the attack until contacted by 13 News. The director of Johnson County Animal Control was not available for comment until Monday.